minutes ago, an oil painting by the master Caravaggio was destroyed when Berlin was bombed during World War II. Since then, the only record of that painting was a picture, a black and white photo with a description of what the painting looked like. Today, a La Jolla artist is bringing to life St. Matthew and the Angel. We share her story in depth. Nearly 400 years ago, Caravaggio depicted Matthew writing his gospel. The painting was for a church in Rome, but it ended up in a Berlin museum in 1945. The museum was bombed, burned to the ground. St. Matthew and the angel lost forever. All we have is a black and white photograph from an old glass negative and color descriptions that came out of East Germany from archives in the basement of the museum from 1909. Noelle Barron is recreating the masterpiece. She'll offer her painting to the church at San Luigi Francesi in Rome, where it was first presented. The black and white photo is her blueprint. Written descriptions from East Germany provide the color. I've had several translations, which also helps, because everyone translates a little bit differently, but it was pretty descriptive. It didn't just say olive green, it would say dark olive green. And I've done so many of Caravaggio's works that I kind of feel I really know his paintings now. Early color, black and white, when they photographed color pictures, the red showed up very light in a black and white photograph. So to me, it, I was guessing first that it may have even been a golden color. But in, in reality, it's a darker red because red, the color red, didn't pick up on black and white film. Noelle is a master of the masters. She reproduced a painting stolen from Palermo, Sicily. Caravaggio's nativity that was once sliced from its frame now hangs in the oratory of San Lorenzo. A letter of gratitude from the Italians is just part of her reward. These are not just art objects. You know, these are living things that speak to us, you know, of the rich cultural heritage of a nation and the history of mankind. And it's very sad when we lose them. And it's my little way of bringing back a little piece of history that's lost. An artist works in a two-dimensional world, but for Noelle, there's an added dimension to the type of work she does. From the divinely inspired Apostle Matthew, to the destructive presence of heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson, and people in between. For Noel, St. Matthew and the Angel will be a two-year project. Caravaggio painted two versions of the scene, but when he presented the first one as an altarpiece, it was rejected. The priests were shocked, saying Matthew didn't look dignified, that his legs were crossed and his feet exposed, not to mention the bare midriff of the angel. So he painted another one, less dramatic, not as personal, but acceptable. The second version hangs in the church in Rome. Most likely, this recreation of the first painting, destroyed in the war, will one day be there too. The study of this is oh so detailed. For example, paint powder mixed in Naples 400 years ago was different than paint powder mixed in Rome where Caravaggio worked. A red in Naples just isn't the same as a red in Rome. And Noel knows the difference only a master could tell. She does some incredible work. Does she get paid? Some of her paintings are for sale and they are very expensive, but in this case she donates, uh, she has donated the painting uh, to uh, Sicily and this one will be donated also. Boy, it's nice work. We celebrate.